Hello there everybody, my name is Void Puppet, and welcome to the start of my playthrough of Dead Rising. Yes, from my last playthrough of um, Final Fantasy X or Resident Evil, I can't remember, I lose track of these things so quickly. I mentioned how I wanted to play a zombie game uh, that's a bit more relaxed. Right, that was Resident Evil 4, that was just the other day, I'm an idiot. Anyway, I wanted to play this again for you guys, uh, well play this over again in my perspective because I've played this game before multiple times and I want to show you guys my general reactions of the BS that comes with this. Hello, hello. I hope you're doing okay. Just about to get started on a new game here. I deleted my old save data a while ago, uh, back when I downloaded these games like a couple years ago. But I am ready to get into it. 72 hour mode. Oh, this is gonna be torture. This is gonna be fun. I'm probably still gonna get jump scared though. For some stupid reason. begins our journey. Here she is. <laughs> Willamette, Colorado. Population 53,594. Distinguishing characteristics. Jack shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. About the only thing to do in this town is kill time at the shopping mall. We got a little mini game to start off with. What was that? The army? Yeah. Military so at the beginning. The was the way to go. I bet they got all the roads blocked off by now. All right, listen. I want to get shots of the whole town before the National Guard finishes roping it off. Take me over the main street. There's a mechanic in this game where you take photos for um, for prestige points or experience points in this game. We got some messiness here. <laughs> no genre. That's my bad. Right when it tells me. Ooh, that's bad. Fighting for his life on a car. He's not gonna make it. Is this what you came to take pictures of? Sure is. Jeez. Sorry, mate. Store. 
is so unnerving to me. There are way scarier things, but uh, just general horror is uh, what really gets me on edge. Not outright gore or uh, horror, but just like... Ooh. Just the idea that something bad's gonna happen. Not even the worst of what's to come here. Like I said, this game is not nearly as serious as other horror games, but zombies always bring in a bit, a bit of drama. There she is. The Willamette Shopping Mall. Hey, can you get me on the rooftop of that mall? You gotta be kidding me. started taking um, care of the foreign helicopter over a restricted Get area. Back down to that rooftop. No, I'm gonna get my butt chewed out for this one. We're going down. Nice tuck and roll there. Yourself. 
This, my friend, is hell. Dropped off at noon, September 19th, and in 72 hours, my ride will come back for me. So, the gauge on the top left there shows the life, which is my HP, and the PP, which is my experience bar. Carlito, looks like you're the only journalist that made it out here. I'm looking forward to some nice pictures. <laughs> Security room, judo throw, something I don't have yet. Okay, that does that. Public restroom, security room sofa, so the bathrooms are the safe ones. Excellent. already feel the tension because I know what's going to happen. That's alright. Going to get through this. Entrance Plaza. Group of survivors here. just trying to survive here. You and I'm do it on the other side. Stop right there! Do you have any idea what you've done? Why did you summon me to this place? What are you planning? Would you calm down? I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> What the... 
sorry about any noise you're gonna hear. The walls in my place are uh, pretty thin, and the rest of my family. Oh shoot. The rest of my family can be loud sometimes. Something to note about Dead Rising Zombies, they have no interest in animals. But because of this stupid uh, old woman, she just screwed every single person in this mall. Because it only takes one to infest what in everything. The hell are you people doing? Run! Quick! Move! Get over here! Everyone, move this way! They broke through so quickly. Can be done about these people here. smooth idea here no, shutting the door as things are in the mall we better not use this door uh what are you doing the air ducts they'll get us back into the mall and apparently those things aren't smart enough to use the ducts so they won't be a factor <laughs> wait a minute you want to get back in there what for? Oh, jeez. Hey. Nice camera. Are you a photographer? As a matter of fact, I am. Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? deal took about 24 minutes. I forget what the actual um, uh, conversion rate is, but it's not that long. Is that a gallon of coffee creamer? <laughs> 
going to save real quick and then get back to the mall. Whew. Not sure if that's saved, but I will deal with that in a little bit. <laughs> Zombies are already at the door. Yeesh. bit oversimplified, but <laughs> attack, throw, change item, discard item, unequip item, alright, jump. Hey, anybody around? Funny how this guy is given a weapon when he's not here, like, or when there's no zombies here. Alright, he's gonna be looking for his wife. Definitely take that. Mister! There she is. They were very lucky to be basically on the rooftop here. Escorting survivors. This is the worst school system ever. But is the primary way to earn prestige points or experience points here. This is going to be automatic. Fantastic. There's going to be opportunities where uh, there'll be photo uh, moments like that. They were hugging and reuniting. Give them a second. And thus the tutorial for rescuing people will be completed. Come on! The knee drop! Superhero, please. I'm never going to the mall again as long as I live. I had about enough of this. We're almost at level three already. Yeah. So, thankfully, the security room has a bunch of uh, rooms where the survivors are going to be held. So there's no real worry about um, the lack of space. <clears throat> Normally you would take the elevator to go down, but I like to go this way. I don't think there are any zombies in this warehouse portion yet. I try to uh, voice over every single thing that happens here, I am not going to be able to have enough breath. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll take you, Sledgehammer. Oh dear god, it's the mannequin torso. Uh, I gotta come back for this. Yeah.
emergency weapon. <laughs> That could have gone so Brad much worse. Attacked. I located him on the monitor. Oh. It's probably just a sprain. I've got to help Brad. Or he's done for. All right, fine. Give me your gun. I don't need no Come gun. On. I'm the reason you just got hurt. Let me help. No, I can't let a civilian do that. That's against regulations. Yeah, well, I don't think they had zombie-infested malls in mind when they wrote those regulations, kid. You know how to use this? Kinda. I've covered wars, you know. <laughs> Look, after I'm through helping you, you and I are gonna have a nice little chat. Alright, now we have the case files. This is basically the story progression that I have to do here. If I don't succeed in all of these cases, then the truth will be lost and I'll be forced into a specific ending where I have to leave via the helicopter that returns in three days. Yep. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll keep the gun. Sledgehammer. Uh, get off me. Alrighty, so now we're in the mall. Welcome to Willamette Mall. Where all the dreams go to die. There's a bunch of neat stuff that you can find around here. Uh, depending on... Uh, what you're looking for. There are magazines that can improve your general stats, weapon durability, uh, higher ammo, or better um, things for survivors. And I gotta find survivors. Not everything is gonna be unlocked at the mall in the beginning, but as the story progresses, uh, more things will be unlocked. So backup for Brad was not something I was expecting already. Gonna eat this pie. Nom. <sighs> I'm wondering if there's one around here. Because there's something really stupid you can do um, to make this first uh, encounter ridiculously easy. Yeah. But I'm not going to go for it. At least, I hope not. <laughs> Leisure Park! All these uh, attacks, I'll be getting them later on after I level up a few times. Man, time was fast. As expected of any game, uh, it starts off very easy. But if you've seen me play Resident Evil 4, you'll you'll see that I'm terrified of every little thing that moves, and I'm not good at playing video games. Frank sounds like he's. He's constipated, because he can barely breathe. Oh no, I really... I should have carried it with me. No matter, it'll, it'll be fine. Let me just clear the way real quick, if I can ugh, muster it. Nope. Oh no, this is going bad. Ugh. 
Oh no! no. <sighs> oh, Frank. Oh, that sort of worked. I cleared the room. It would be very bad if I died only 30 minutes into this playthrough, wouldn't it? That may happen here. So our friend from the rooftop is our first boss. Your uh, girlfriend sent me to find you. Who? Jesse? Damn it! Okay, we'll have to talk about this later. You know how to use that gun? I've never fired at a person. All right, I'll cover you from here. You need to stick to the shadows. Try to get close to the target, okay? And what am I supposed to do when I get close? Well, the best solution would be to shoot the guy. But if you can't do that, keep him busy dodging your bullets and stay out of trouble. Are you up to it? I'm a lot better with a camera. But yeah, I'll give it a shot. All right. Next time he reloads, I'll lay down a suppressing fire. I'm counting on you. Make your way over there. One, two, three! me going close range is not going to help. Ugh. Wait. He, oh, he gave me a second gun. No wonder. is the aim. I mean, R2 is the aim. That's so dumb. Okay. Oh my god, Otis, what do you want? These are scoops. They're basically submissions uh, for the game. This is where most of our uh, oh, that's so annoying. Brad has a lot of health. Finally, I land a hit. I'm the one taking all the damage here while Brad is hiding. There's a really easy way you can cheese this, but I did not feel like doing it because it is just better to struggle. Oh. 
Thankfully we're in the food court, so there's plenty of food in here. That's right, I just stuffed down an entire... Um, oh no, that's not good. An entire baguette, like it was nothing. Oh god, Brad, why are you over here? Is that a grenade? Nick, squeeze me? Nope, 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 nope. There's a way to get up there. How do I get up there? No, that's not it. Oh dear. Get on the box, you idiot! enough. <laughs> Brad is absolutely useless in this fight. He's just supposed to survive. <laughs> he got away. Who was that anyway? I don't know. Well, thanks for your help. The name's Brad. I'm Frank West, photojournalist. And right now, I'd rather have an explanation than your thanks, Brad. Sorry, I've got nothing to tell you. Look, I don't know what Jesse told you. But as far as I'm concerned, we're through working together. So you cover your zombie story and leave the rest to us. You, uh, you guys are looking for someone here, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Where did you, you take You help it? me, I help you. Frustrating, isn't it? But you gotta trust strangers during the zombie Damn. apocalypse, whether you like it or not. You're one hell of a journalist, aren't you, Frank? A hot headed, underhanded, hotshot paparazzi with nothing better to do than to invade people's privacy. I try. You got a point? You win, Frank. Let's work together. Jesse and I are DHS agents. And yes, we are looking for the man in that picture. You're with Homeland Security. Is that guy a terrorist or something? I took that picture in the entrance plaza. Right near the front door. The entrance plaza. You're sure? Hey! So do I have your permission to cover this story? Or not? <sighs> well, iron out the details later, I guess. 
Alright, now we get to follow Brad, but I really need a heal. Yeah. Both of my guns are at their last couple bullets, so I'm gonna just burn through those and then pick up another melee weapon. And now the... Come on, man, you're right in front of you! You can't have worse aim than me! Go. I will gladly replace that U sledgehammer for another one. There we go. Jumping be your best friend. Ah. After you get grabbed a few times, if Frank is running like this, if he grabs gets grabbed one more time, it's it's a takedown. Which equals more damage and I don't want to take more damage. Brad, slow down, man. I'm having to pick pick up after you. Uh Orange juice, excellent. You up? Let's go. Not sure who that is, but I don't need any promotions, thank you. If you're just a bot, then you just a bot. What a mess. You guys actually want to chat with me? You're free to chat with me and say what you want to do. Cut from the same cloth. Though that is coming down really quickly. But we're going to head back to Paradise Plaza relatively soon. Sir, if you could just kindly come with us, we can wrap this whole thing up. No, I'm not leaving until you can Absolutely, guarantee sir. me if safe passage just open to this these gates. Just open this gate no. for your protection. Just I am not us. opening any gate. Thank you very much. I'm going to stay right Do here. Dr. Where Barnaby. It's safe. Sir. Thank you and goodbye. Dr. Dr. Barnaby. Goodbye. Manages to lock himself up in a bookstore. Well, what happened? You can't just arrest him? He turned down my offer to protect him. Said he isn't going anywhere until I can guarantee a secure route out of here. Jesse has a direct line to HQ. The first thing we need to do is to call for backup. And why haven't y'all done that already? Given that you two are stranded uh, agents? As if I'm interested in changing clothes right now. Looks like I gotta go back manually. There is a shutter over here that unlocks Paradise Plaza, but it looks like I gotta get it from that side. Damn. No worries. I'm going to start a cut from the same cloth, and we're gonna go from there. And I kinda wanna use up that gun so I can pick up other weapons. Until I can get more inventory slots, the best thing I have I can do is three weapons and one healing item. Because healing items are kinda easy to find. Ah! And as long as I'm careful enough, I should be good to roll. There are gonna be some missions that uh ah! 
Get off me. There are going to be some missions that are not going to show up on my little heads up display here that Otis will not find out. But there's nothing that can be done about that. Flexin. Can we get some free EXP here? There are certain wacky things you can do to get some extra points here. Treadmill bonus. Yeah. Nice. Stock up. Just getting my healthy workout in, unlike real life. <laughs> For the most part, if there are secure doors, like closed doors, zombies are not really going to get in, because they don't tend to break stuff. That usually happens with human survivors or yourself. Almost done. Nice. See, and just like that, I got another level up. Just by taking a few seconds out of that. And now the food court is not safe. Here. It's not a great weapon, but it's mine. I believe the food court is the only place that has mixers, but you're in this place so little of the time that it just does not matter. It's starting to get dark, and I want to be away from here when it gets dark. Oh, come on, Otis! Yeah. Somebody's barricaded a woman's clothing shop in Alfresca. I was just in Alfresca Plaza. Ugh. All right, I will come back for those two in a little bit. I really need to get started on this one first. But, uh, I've only killed 18 zombies because I am I am weak boy right now. Can't wait for the level ups to get higher movement speed because that would be so nice right now. About 4.15. Two bats, I will gladly take those. And now I have three weapons and two healing items. Let me get help. As soon as I can start this mission, then I can go back for those two. <laughs> and here he is. This is Kent. He is also a photographer. There's a blender here. This is a much e easier accessible blender. Untouchable, that'll be very nice. Photos!
There are different types of photos that I can take. Each have their own different values. The closer I get, the better the shot. This guy has a good jump kick. chose to go right near zombies. Zombies we have to deal with at a time, the better. Smile. Oh yeah, great. Good. How fast Boring. is that? Great shot. Fantastic. There we go. Great shot. All right, now this starts the quest hmm. for this man here. Well, it's in focus. And, uh, the composition's okay, I suppose. Uh-huh. Hmm. That ain't half bad. Okay, here comes the next one, Frankie. But first... Feast your eyes on my work. Now this is my most emotionally moving shot. <laughs> now this... Is my sexiest shot. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. This is my most violent shot. Check it out. Ugh. Okay. Here's the deal, Frankie. You gotta go out there and take even better pictures than the ones I just showed you. You think you can handle that, huh? So the next quest is to get yeah. one violent photo, one sexy photo, and one dramatic photo that are in a good enough quality for that score. All right. This is a very easy way to get some quick juices here. Take that. Yep. A woman in the Alfresco Plaza. Alright. So I think this will be the last mission, or set of missions that I do uh, before I end the stream. It's been almost an hour now. 
I'm not going to try to gamble with my internet. But it's getting dark, and it's going to be terrifying. Also, some of the photos that you take here will be seen in these uh, intermission shots. Yeah, it's almost 6. Alright, so, 6 p.m. is the official night time in this game. And it's when... Uh... Excuse me. And it's when, uh... The zombies get red eyes, there are more zombies overall, and then... Uh... They get more aggressive. So... Doing cut from the same claw takes a little bit of time, but I really wanted to get that side quest started, plus the two Alfresca Plaza missions um, are so close together that it makes things a little bit easier to do them together. The jump kick is your best friend. I'm just doing a quick move. Uh. Get off me. Oh. <sighs> Wine and any alcohol heals decent amount of squares, or health. But... You drink more than two alcohol in a short period of time, and Frank will start throwing up. It's kind of like a punishment for the easier uh, access. Oh, come on now. Somehow managed to. You gotta do... You gotta stop him from getting too aggressive. And then involves hurting him a little bit. I somehow managed to phase through their barricades, so the zombies will not interrupt us. Okay, cool. Dude, chill out. Alright, Bert has a decent uh, weapon. Okay, Bert, you need to get over here because you got beat up a little bit more than you intended to. Alright. Ugh, no. Gotcha. Alright. Okay. Bert, Thanks. you get a bat, or you get your bat back. Aaron, you I need you to it. take this bat. Uh huh. I'm gonna take this milk, and I'm gonna stick with just one weapon because... for the lives right now.
Burke up pretty bit pretty badly. Follow me. Where the hell's Aaron? Follow me. Aaron's not reliable in combat, but giving him a weapon Come is better on. than leaving him uh, naked. Come on. When you're escorting uh, survivors between zones, you gotta get them close to you before they transition rooms. Leah is injured, and this requires her to carry uh, you to carry her on her back. The only good aspect about this is that Frank is mostly invulnerable while carrying somebody like this. Follow me. Thank you very much. Bert, you got hurt again. Roger. I'll get you back. All right. Come on. Counting on you two to help me. Follow me. Come on, let's go. Oh my god. It's gonna be six o'clock and we're gonna be in Leisure Park. No, I didn't make it in time! Ugh. We have a very big problem here. They're gonna kill the old man, and then the girl is gonna be running around like crazy. She needs to be escorted by holding her hand, but Leah can barely move as she's limping. And I got three crazy guys on a on a freaking jeep here. I may have to leave Sophie behind. Me. You're gonna be hearing me press the triangle button a lot, or follow me, or this way, because that's the only way to get them to follow you. so stupid to say, but in the zombie apocalypse, it is every man for themselves. And if they're focused on Sophie, they won't be able to... There they are. Looks like they're stuck on a tree, but they haven't noticed us yet. Yep, they're chasing her. It'd be better to fight them with a gun. Thank you very much. All right. Over there. Counting on you. Come on, that's the wrong direction. Okay, Aaron and Bert are fighting over there. Stay low. Is very unfortunate. All right.
ready then. Where did that last leave off? At the very beginning of the game. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Alright, I think I've humiliated myself enough here. I'm at the very beginning of the game before I even started the progression. Um, yeah, I'm at the very beginning of the game um, when I first saved. So all the work that I did with um, the Carlito boss fight, the two guys, and Kent had just gone down the train. Um, all right, I'll redo those missions off stream and then try to get back here as soon as possible because I was just robbed on that. I something I hate about this game is that the animation needs to be fully completed before you do any sort of healing. That's something that they fix in the second game, and believe me, I much prefer the second game because they fixed a lot of issues from the first game. But I'm gonna beat this game first before I get to the second game. <sighs> how unfortunate. But, that's how it goes. I decided to take the risk to try to save Sophie, but the stupid idiot decided to run in the wrong direction. And I'm the stupid idiot that decided to go for her in the first place instead of saving the three people that I already had. So, reality of the zombie apocalypse. And unfortunately, I try to save everybody that I can because that's just who I am. I hate it! <laughs> you guys try to have a good day. Um, my name is Void Puppet, and I will see you in the next playthrough. Take care.